Tim, Miyoji, and Clover are running rather late. That's because they're dead again. They're, they're handcuffed to a sink and bled out. Should we go and look for them? Oh, they were, they were drugged to death, right. No, there's something I want to check first. It's never easy with you, is it? I'm sorry for doing everything. <laughs> yeah, what the f what kind of I'm fucking- I'm sorry I can't just stand around and do nothing like every other character and just wait for us to accomplish everything. Considering I'm going to be doing that the next uh, escape room. <laughs> This is the rec room. Dio and I came here earlier when we were looking for Quark. So why are we here? Was there something here you needed to see? I said nothing and instead made my way over toward the cabinet. Inside was the luminal. I reached in and pulled it out, then headed to the light switch and flicked it. The room went dark and I headed back to where the others were still standing. Is this you gonna start telling ghost stories or something uh I mean kind of why are you scared of ghosts <laughs> you're kidding me right <laughs> then show me how brave you are stick out your bracelet you too fi please bracelets? yeah I want to see the underside of them what do you mean by that I mean the side on the bottom the side that doesn't have the display on it Come on, you're really gonna make me explain this. I know what you mean. The problem with this approach is you're just sort of relying on the idea that the killer doesn't know what luminol is. Yeah. What I'm asking is what the hell you think you're... Just do it! It's not hard! Should I also participate? No, you're fine, Kay. What? No, fuck you. You can't! Fuck you, Sigma. You can't! I don't care, do it anyway. Do what? Spray it on his face? No, on his wrists, obviously. You can't the spray fuck? it on his wrists! Yes, you can. The watch isn't on his wrist! That's fine, try anyway. God. We'll just see. There's no reason there's no reason to just exempt him. Your bracelet is a little different from ours. I disagree, this is bullshit. Do it on everyone. We don't we have like unlimited luminol. Unlimited power. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like a shitty fucking uh, deodorant commercial. <laughs> Unlimited shiny power. I was imagining the- You can uh, make things glow that you don't really want to make glow. <laughs> imagining like the Terry Crews, uh, all, the All Spice commercials. It's just like, <laughs> he's like in a police station, he's just like, Unlimited power! And he's just like holding luminol and it's just like and exploding with like- The tiger screaming as all the jizz stains glow on his body. <laughs> 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 but then Terry Crews sprays it on him, and he's got it on his chest too. And he's like, ah! And the it's tiger's just, like, ah! It's just on his face in a streak. <laughs> and they just spray, and every part of the room has jizz on, it and they're just <laughs> screaming everywhere. They're like, ah! But I'll join in just to make it fair. <laughs> it turns out Sigma has blood on the bottom of his wrist. <laughs> I mean, it could happen. What if what if somebody put a dead person's bracelet on us before this started? We were unconscious. We fucking out ourselves. This like could be idiots. really accidentally self-damning in a way that we don't understand. There was a brief moment of hesitation before Dio and Fee stuck out their arms. I held mine out as well, wrist pointed upward. This okay? Yeah. Just hold it like that for a moment. But what if the person that glows just uh, is glowing because they touched the dead people's bodies? As fast as I could, I pulled the luminol from my pocket and sprayed it across all three of our wrists. Ugh, cold. What the hell, man? <laughs> That's cold-blooded. <laughs> Don't see anything glowing. Fee's bracelet is clean. So is mine, of course. That leaves only deal. Wait. What are you talking about? I'll explain in a minute. Just show me your bracelet. Is something wrong? Just show it to me. Come on, Dio, we don't have time for this. Why do I have to do what you tell me to? Uh, because you're acting super fucking <laughs> suspicious incredibly now. incredibly suspicious. Because I'm trying to prove your innocence. Well, like hell you are. I don't know what you're looking for. But you're not gonna find it on me. Then just show me your arm. No. <laughs> Tackle him, Kay. You're really heavy. We don't, we have we do not have to put up with Dio's shit. Come on. 
Did it? Did it? We, do we, are, we are a team of Metal Man and Jacked Fucker. Like, there's no did reason it? we can't take the Ringling Brother. But didn't Dio specifically say he didn't want to go anywhere with K because he's too big and he can't do anything against K? Yeah. So K already has the advantage here. Dio clearly has said he will not be able to do anything. You don't get to order me around. I have rights. I, no. You have rights. You have. You don't have rights because we're literally trapped in a confined what space. What a bizarre context for to say I have rights is like. Show me your bracelet. No. Yeah. <laughs> this is like the most American thing to do. <laughs> like you're in a death game and you're like, I have First Amendment rights. I don't like, hear you're you. You're also going to die. I <laughs> like, don't hear you pleading the fifth. <laughs> are, are you serious? God what? damn it. K, you fuck. Okay, Stand so Dio's clearly got the bloody bracelet because otherwise what the fuck is his behavior? Like what the fuck? As he this spoke, Dio made a break behavior. for the exit. He clearly looked at his own bracelet and it's glowing and he's like, oh, I'm not, I can't show them that. Yeah. Like, he knows, which means we know, which means otherwise his, otherwise his behavior is literally insane. He didn't get far. Yay! I'm I can't let you do that, Dio. Oh my god, it's fucking Hal. Yeah, we're doing Hal references now. <laughs> but, actually, the bracelet's clean. He spun around toward the other exit. Stop him! Right. Six. Don't know what you're Sig talking about, but okay. Sigma, why Sigma. aren't you standing there? <laughs> Sigma, yeah, there's two exits, and he covered the other one. Why did you just have Fee grab his wrist? <laughs> All three of us left at Dio. Just beat him with that shield. <laughs> just beat him with the axe. Uh, <laughs> that just makes you the murderer. Oh, whoa! Oh my god, what the, the game's fuck animated. is this? Oh! Oh my god! I the thing I, we knew would happen. Also, I, what the fuck? There was a cutscene in this yeah, game. Yeah, there was like actually animation. For like one second. That was cool. Can you do that the rest <laughs> of the game? Yeah, wait, what? <laughs> I thought that was what I signed up for when I when I when I was playing a 3D zero. I'm surprised game. that wasn't just a freeze frame like every other that was time cool. ever. Yeah, why isn't that happening all the time? Also, I knew it. Dio oh, has boy. LEDs underneath his wrists. Whoa, rad. Yeah, those are clearly, that's clearly completely open, that so is, here wrist would be super bloody. That is not how Luminol works, by the way. This is, uh... Because... You yeah, need, this is straight up... Do you need blacklight? You need a blacklight for Luminol yeah, to work. Do you need blacklight? <laughs> yeah. Uh, maybe put this blacklight in this room. Sure. <laughs> uh... Maybe these wristwatches com continually emit blacklight. <laughs> For some reason, that would be like a, kind of nerve-wracking. All set up just to just to frame one person. Yeah, that's a br that's a bracelet that would not really leave a distinctive uh, clear mark on your wrist if you're covered in blood. No. At most, there might be two weird rectangles. There would be a lot of blood on your wrist. All those cylinders would not block any blood. It's just the two rectangles that would kind of lead the little spots, which would be, actually be a stain that'd be more confusing and more worthy of them not immediately identifying it than the one we saw, where it's like, how are you not seeing this? It's more impressive because you could now. I hear you, commenters, typing, ticky tacking on your keyboard as loudly as possible. But 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 the writer and the artist di didn't cooperate with each other. Well, that's well, odd. We know because that because of Clover's face. We know, but it's, <laughs> that would be very odd given that the artist also drew the fucking wrist for the dumb bitch and the bracelets at the same time, which means he knew exactly that she had to have no well, yeah, blood yeah, on yeah, her yeah, the wrist. The same artist did have to make both. Yes, which means the guy's an idiot. Yeah. Oops. I don't know who it is. Is the artist an idiot? Is the writer an idiot? Is the company an idiot? I don't know. I'm gonna go with company because they made dangling grandpas, but that's just my personal opinion. Yeah, the silhouette is like, I don't even... It's the most bizarre thing, like if Mickey Mouse crashed through a wall and there's a Mickey Mouse shaped hole and they're like, It was Taz! <laughs> like, it's like, but that's not what it looks like! It's not what it looks like! His bracelet's glowing. That means he jizzed on it. What if he did? What if he did say he just like came all over his wrist? How did his hat not fall off? Uh, I think it's glued on. Do we spray? We should spray it with luminol. <laughs> it's covered in super glue. <laughs> <laughs> it's just covered in blood. Just you, you rip it off, and his scalp just comes off. Oh god! <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> you take the hat off, and it, it's like a mask, like Scooby Doo. <laughs> like it's another person underneath. <laughs> <laughs> It's K. <laughs> what? It was actually K all a lot way. Who's holding him down? Uh, take K that mask pulls... off. It's Dio. <laughs> it was me, Dio. <laughs> you just take the mask off and just Scooby Doo. Wait. It's like, wait, what? <laughs> Do you have rights to that franchise? <laughs> Dio. 
You killed the old lady. No, you don't understand. This is all some kind of a mistake. Shit. What's going on here? I think it's about time you gave us the full story. Uh, nah. Oh, okay. As quickly as I could, I explained to Fi what Kay and I had noticed on the old woman's wrist. Actually, it was just me. So the person with the bloody bracelet would have to be the person who killed her. Yeah, exactly. Even if they'd wiped it off, I figured the luminol would still react to the blood. Or all that blood's just on his wrist because of when he murdered Alice. <laughs> Is that what he's gonna admit? <laughs> I didn't kill that old woman, I killed the stupid bitch! Oh wait, shit, that doesn't make it any better. Oh, fuck. <laughs> Looks like I was right. We've got you, Dio. You might as well confess. Well? <laughs> Alright, fine. You caught me. I did it. I killed the old bitch and took her bracelet. Whoa. Why? Seriously, why? What the fuck? <laughs> what the f- why would anyone do that? What did she do to you? No, I was under orders. I was sent here to- To do- Something. Uh, to do what? Who gave you this order? I'll die before I tell you. Okay, goodbye. <laughs> so your orders were more important than Alice and Luna's lives. Let's not get ahead of ourselves. I killed the old lady, but that's it. I don't know anything about what happened to Alice and Luna. I don't really believe you, though, because they somehow magically got the injection gun that was on your character. That wasn't you. Tread carefully, Sigma. This man is not to be trusted. He has already shown he is willing to lie and kill. Come on, I'm telling the truth. You gotta believe me. Even if we do believe you, you're still a killer. You just haven't killed as many people. Exactly. He should be restrained somehow. If we leave him be, he may well kill again. Why don't we just restrain him with an axe to the chest? <laughs> <laughs> oh, Jesus. But where will we put him? Is there a room we can lock or anything? I mean, that's kind of a problem for when we go- Oh my god, we're gonna put him in the treatment pod. Uh, and lock the treatment pod. The issue, the issue is how do we deal with the- If we lock him up, we have to deal with the- like, going into rooms on time limits still. Oh yeah, he'll die. Yeah. Well, his bracelet falls off in the treatment pod example, but I feel like that's not what they're going with, but maybe. Yeah, I guess the lock, yeah. Ah, perhaps we could put him in one of the treatment pods. Yep. Once we've locked it, he should be unable to escape. Oh, yeah. Hey, wait! Ready to be in a small coffin? <laughs> yeah. I'll be good, I, I promise. <laughs> oh, <my God>. <laughs> <laughs> He's like a child who just got caught and is going to get sent to the corner. He's Mommy. like, no, 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 no! Daddy, no! <laughs> Yeah, I think you're onto something, Kay. Let's go with that. <laughs> Come on, please. Hey, listen to me. Hey, hey, listen, listen. We'll let you out when the white door is open. Someone's going to need your bracelet to open the secondary door. You're going to pretend that you're going to have the foreknowledge to be that far ahead and plan ahead enough to get him because you've done literally everything at the last second in every timeline. <laughs> Every single time. That's true. Fuck with me, you guys. There's no way in hell I'm going in that thing. Well. Let go. Let me go. God damn it! I told you assholes to let me go. You can't do this. Stop. Stop. Please stop. Please. No, you can't. The end. That was a weird segment. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that cutaway dialogue was weird. I guess they had to show something else because otherwise it'd be confusing that he's doing, they're doing the process of taking him away. But clearly it wasn't going to be animated. Yeah. I said open it, God damn it! I don't think so. You're going to pay for this. When I get out of here, I'm going to fucking end you. And freeze. <laughs> <laughs> Chill out. <laughs> So, I guess we figured out who the murderer was, and we found Quark. Now all that's left to do is find Clover and Tenmyoji. Yeah. Why don't we head back to the warehouse and start from there? They may have already returned. Good point. So.
Actually, no, they killed themselves. By the way, just a reminder, we haven't done a single thing. No, we haven't. Like, all day today, since we started playing today. Yep. We have not done a thing yet. We've just been pressing A a lot. Yep. It's mind-blowing. Yep. I seem to remember visual novels having more decisions than this. Like, all the time decisions, practically. Yeah, because... I think I, w I watched you play Nekoshishi for, like, five minutes. You picked a lot of dialogue. <laughs> because it's a Almost. visual novel. <laughs> And there's choices to be made because there's actual branches, <laughs> not like, I, not like Dragon Ball. Not just infinite looping hell. Well, it's like it's basically like this guy just took all the plot and spread it onto se like seven different timelines, and was like, collect all the timelines and combine them for the Dragon Balls, what and they, then you can make a wish to end the game. What they did is they stuck they stuck the knife into the thing of jutter of jet of oh, butter, jet. and they slowly spread that one single knife stroke of butter over like 12 pieces of toast <laughs> until you couldn't find any evidence of butter on any of the toast. <laughs> that, that's... <laughs> huh. Looks like they aren't back yet. Perhaps they went to look for us. No. Oh, oh man. man. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, man. Oh, shucks. Oh, man. You got me, Batman. Now we've got to go look for them. <laughs> I should give Sigma that voice. <laughs> now we've got to look for them. Be easier. Well, it would be easier on my throat, yeah. Just give him this. How much time until the white doors open? Look at your wrist. It's on all of your wrists. <laughs> Look at your wrist. <laughs> it's on all of They all have it. Uh, we've to British. That's incomprehensible. Nah, that's the best voice. <laughs> 50 minutes. Then I don't think we really need to hurry yet. Uh, have you been a part of the game so far? Because we need to hurry. <laughs> Once all again, the time. literally everything we'd accomplish is always accomplished in the last five seconds of time. Yeah. Please hurry, at all times. I Please hurry. wait a little longer. What? No. Geez. No. Why? Why? What? What would? What would be the harm? Let's split up, gang. For all we know, they're on their way back right now. Then let's split up. Can I not? something I wanted to ask you guys about. Why don't we just go down the path that they went down? Why don't we just... <laughs> if we just go down the path that Clover and Tamiyoji went down, we'll find them there. Since apparently they weren't in either of our paths. Yep. That means we'll just catch up with them there. Unless they're gonna mysteriously go down somebody else's paths on the return trip. In which case, well, we'll just come back. But what if they're, like, in the middle of something? If they're in transit and we miss them, then we just come back and we'll be here two minutes later and, like, oh, here you are. But if we don't, uh, if they're stuck for some reason or something's happening in their particular path, they could be there the next hour. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Quark's bracelet. When we found him in the pod, he wasn't wearing it. Why? How should I know? Presumably, it had been taken off before we found him. So we have no idea where it is. Maybe you guys should read what the computers say about what th things do, and then you'd have your answer, like we do. Pretty much. <laughs> Thanks, Sigma, for backing me up on that one. I see. That's not good. Without that bracelet, we won't be able to continue the game. What? We need three bracelets to open the secondary door. If we lose one... Oh no! We wouldn't be able to go through the secondary door. Yeah. Who would be pairing up with Quark? Quark's bracelet should be a red solo. That would mean he'd be with the cyan pair. Who's a cyan pair? Well, that problem took care of itself. Oh my god, <laughs> Sigma, you were in the room. <laughs> that, took, that problem really took care of itself. Yeah. Oh well, three missing people are all gonna die together. The two people who are missing. Actually, two people, because Cloak... Uh, Quark can't die any from that anymore. Yeah. Because the core threat of the entire game has been removed from him. And we're not which, all just doing that ourselves for some reason. The idea that can just casually happen is baffling. Because it breaks the entire game in a fundamental crazy-ass way. We literally don't have to play the game if all of our bracelets can just come off. I'm also confused why no one else is questioning how it happened and going like, maybe we can get ours off too. Yeah. It's like, oh, it must have magically been Zero. He just walked in here and did it. Yeah, Zero Senior just showed up and was like, well, this kid's already asleep, so thank you. <laughs> He's like, the bracelet I guess I'll just fair. break my own game. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I 
Woohoo! I'm just so crazy! <laughs> I'll just do whatever I feel like! <laughs> it's going to be delightful! <laughs> Have some, have some candy. Have some candy. <laughs> a bracelet here, a bracelet not here. <laughs> no one has bracelets anymore. <laughs> the segment brought to you by Alan Tudyk. <laughs> How are you all going to get out if none of you have a bracelet to use? <laughs> like, <laughs> what the fuck is Zero Senior? Like, if they just, don't have bracelets, then only one person has to open the door and everyone else can just walk out because the game can't stop them but anymore. If no one has bracelets, they can't open the door because you have to have you one. You can still play the game without having the on your wrist to kill you though and all you need is one bracelet to hit nine and then you can just open the door and everyone walks out because the game can't stop them but that's what i'm saying if there are no bracelets to play if you took all the bracelets away well yeah, away i'm yeah. saying that they take the bracelets off they can still play oh no without, i meant like if he just the risk of dying if he just showed up and was like oh i'm just taking all the bracelets then you just be like, well, now we can't literally play. It's like, oh, isn't that fun? <laughs> like, uh, <laughs> what fun? How radical. <laughs> like, <laughs> Quark's bracelet is gone, and his two teammates have disappeared. What's going on? Does that mean Clover and Timoyoji took the bracelet? Well, if they found Quark before you did, yeah, there's a good chance they did. Well, they can't get out. Well, that would be the best possible outcome unless, yeah, unless they already escaped. But if they were escaping through the nine door, then the game would have told us. Well, also, they would, announces... they would die, because they yeah. have... But it, it announces publicly when that door was opened. Yeah. Also, Timmyoji wouldn't just leave Quark and be like, Ha ha, I've got his bracelet, now to kill myself. <laughs> Take that, kid. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing personal, kid. <laughs> Don't get cocky, punk. <laughs> then why aren't they back yet? Perhaps they've already gone through the white door. Impossible. It's locked. What? That's not how this game works. And you should know that we've gone through two of them already. Yeah, seriously. That's not possible. The primary doors haven't even opened yet. Perhaps someone opened one of them. With what? Sheer willpower and mental fortitude? I don't like K. <laughs> I'm just, I'm realizing that in this path, like, I think every single time we get to a new spot, Sigma points out the obvious thing and does actual deductions, and K makes up shit as he goes along, and K just is... invents a bunch of brand new rules that defy everything that's happened so far, and then he just says that shit out loud like it's worth saying. K is a very feels over logic. Like kind maybe of the person. game just stopped making sense and all the doors just opened at random, which to be fair is how 99 worked. <laughs> it's just steps. They just like, yeah, fuck the rules. <laughs> that was for a certain reason. The dumb reason. Yes. Numbers don't mean anything. They're secretly other numbers. <laughs> Tricked you, Ace. It wasn't a one, it was a penis on your wrist. <laughs> like... <laughs> you don't even have a number. <laughs> That's actually the number is equal to the length of your penis. <laughs> I checked. <laughs> How? I don't know, but it's happened before. What? Remember the three doors on the other side of the green door? Yeah. Someone made one of them open. Perhaps this is the same thing. No. No. Uh. No. There. There's a. There. Okay. So. I don't know if you knew this. You probably don't because you weren't for 999. You weren't there for 999. But that thing in the center is a console that reads the bracelets and then opens doors based on the bracelet. So if a different pairing of people went in there put their wrist on, and then pull the thing, it would open a different door, because it's a different pairing of pe- So, okay, look, shut up. <laughs> uh, and that's not- no. You can't open the primary doors that way, because there's no indicator for- the, the primary doors don't read your wrist, and know which doors yeah, to open. Yeah, they literally are, don't have a they don't have a mechanism for opening at the moment. No. You just wait. Yeah, there's literally no way to open them besides pushing on them. Yeah, really hard. Which, but- Which we can't. But that's against the rules. <laughs> yes, I know. But if the person opening the doors is Zero Senior, do you really think the rules matter? Oh my, are you fucking Zero Senior? You bring him up every time there's a mystery. Why don't you marry Zero Senior? Seriously, Kay brings him up every time he doesn't have an answer. Is Zero Senior your, your robe? Is this like Doctor Strange, where the clothes are alive? He just keeps saying that, whereas like, well, what happened to the bracelet? It's like, maybe Zero Senior took it. <laughs> so then, who opened the door? Maybe Zero Senior did it. I so like wait, K, Zero I Senior- I feel like K is supposed to be the person who played 999 already, and so they're just ready for the game to fuck us at random, so it's like, every, literally every explanation ever is going to be, Zero Senior break, broke the game to do that thing. This is the explanation for everything he encounters. 
<laughs> Which it's to just be fair is fair. Yeah, but it's just like it's so weird to think about the idea. Like, okay, so in your timeline, K Zero Senior killed Luna and killed Lotus. Then he Alice. also or and Alice. And then he also kidnapped Quark, kidnapped Quark, up put him, Quark took his took bracelet, his bracelet and then opened the door specifically for Clover and Tenmoyoji to get through. I think he, based on his blaming, uh, he also would have had to specifically kill the old woman, take the bracelet off, put it on Dio. Yeah, <laughs> like he's blamed everything. I think on yeah, like he's on blamed Zero everything on Zero Senior. <laughs> Who farted? Maybe it was Zero Senior. <laughs> <laughs> he who smelt it is Zero Senior. <laughs> Zero Senior says what? <laughs> what? Zero Senior controls the entire game. So are you saying Clover or Tenmyoji is zero senior? It is a possibility. Is it? You said literally everyone was a possibility, and then almost everyone is like either dead, unconscious, or now captured. There's I'll only explain why they still haven't shown up. No, it wouldn't. They really have taken Quark's bracelet and gone through one of the white doors. Why well, would Wait. explain why they haven't shown up? What are they doing that Wait. makes them Zero Senior specifically? That Wait. involves not showing up. You think Zero Senior would want the game to happen because they made it? Also, you would <laughs> think that Zero Senior, or you would think that by default, when two people are missing, you'd go, "Man, I really hope they didn't get murdered like those other two people that went missing." Instead, we're like, they must be evil. <laughs> yeah, yeah, instead, we're like, one of them must be Zero Senior, and the other one must be going along with the, the ride. Guy the guy that wants to save his grandson, he must be evil. He is the evil man. That's why he left his grandson behind. We shouldn't behind. even find him. We should just leave them to die. Ha, ha, Zero ha. Senior. If they did, we won't know where they were. They went until the doors opened for the rest of us. So I would assume. Wait, wouldn't that be a problem? Because what if we if went into a room? in the same room? Yeah, what if we went into a room that... This is all just speculation, though. Maybe we should go look for the team. The uh, look for them again. One of us can stay behind so that we don't miss them if we they come back. Okay, I'll stay. Sigma and I will go see if we can find them. Then. Isn't that how Fi dies? Yeah. Make sure you get back five minutes before the door opens. All right. Five oh. minutes. And don't forget to bring Dio with you. Oh, okay. I was gonna say we still have to get Dio. Like, goddamn. Yeah. Don't. I feel like, like we're gonna get here for five minutes left, and then we have to rush over and get Neo, <laughs> then rush back. I mean, we've done stuff like that before. I know, but I don't want to believe it. I can't wait for one character to actually die because we just always do everything at the last second. Procrastination kills, kids. Don't do drugs. <laughs> Procrastination kills, kids, says your teacher. The Waiting pantry. for that assignment. The pantry. Where the food is. <laughs> They're just both passed out from eating too much. It's the weird room where the things don't line up. And this is strange. The pantry. So it would appear. This is the place that had the sorting system that pissed me off. <laughs> yep. So I can't tell what they're going for. I kind of want to go in this room. Yeah, food. Well, it looks like they're not here. I bet they have every food. <laughs> every. It's just like yeah. every food. When we started looking for Quark. They were sent off to search everything beyond the red door. Hey guys, this is an entire aisle of pizzas! <laughs> Let's just hang out here for the next 15 minutes. <laughs> it's like all those mystery and suspense where we're refusing to look for Tenmyoji and Clover, and the grand reveals they're just eating lunch in here because it's the food room that's full of food. And they're like, yeah, food. <laughs> and like, oh sorry, we got carried away eating a pizza. <laughs> Like, we, I, thought, we thought you were Zero Junior or dead <laughs> because we have rational responses to somebody not showing up for a bit when we know exactly where they went. <laughs> I kind of want, I want like, uh, I want Sigma to like pull open one of the drawers and goes like, huh, that's weird. It's got pineapple pizza in here. And he like pulls up another drawer. He's like, it's also got pineapple pizza. And he just starts they're opening all up pineapple they're all pizzas. pineapple pizza. He's like, no, and he just starts trying to rip off his bracelet. No! <laughs> it's like this is a fate worse than death. Like, <laughs> I would be, I would be fine. You would be fine. I don't yeah. know why you can't eat that. You Pineapple monster. pizza is great. No, it's not. I, I, I feel like I made a horrible mistake not trying it for 27 years. 
So no. I literally just tried it within the last like 12 months and I was like, oh shit, this has been good the whole time. <laughs> what? <laughs> Why have I never had this before? It's not good. I never tried it because I was like, that clearly looks terrible. I was like, no, this is perfect. <laughs> no. This is perfect and no. you're wrong. No. Which would have meant this room. Not gonna do us any good to hang around here though. Let's head upstairs. Very well. Let's head upstairs. Yeah. Weren't we? Wait. No, we're going upstairs to this to floor A. Oh, floor B is down. Yeah. Oops, mixed it up. It's Oops. easy to forget because it's not the stairs. Also, because we're not seeing the tra the transition. Well, yeah, it's an elevator, so you just have to remember what the what the button by the door elevator looked like, and that's the only indication of up or down. Because not a staircase. Stop doing that. Stop playing with your headphones. I can hear it. We established this. You can hear it inside your headphones. Yes. That's so weird. It's not that weird. It's a solid thing that's connected to it itself. I love it. It's like when you hit a fence and somebody has their head and they're listening to the fence like a like down <laughs> the fence. Why? <laughs> you know the chain link fences. I know, but like, why would you have your head on the stupid fence? Because you're kids and you're waiting for the bus. <laughs> and you're like, you're sitting there with your you're sitting there with your arms and head on the fence, just sitting there, and somebody else is like knocking on it far away, and you notice you can hear it. It's a human experience. <laughs> I don't have those. <laughs> no one here either. Tell me, OG loves scotch so much, I thought he might find him here drinking some. Yeah, the booze hound that he cares about booze more than his missing grandson. <laughs> yeah, God. Jesus. Jason. <sighs> it was around that time that I noticed Kay was acting strangely. He was staring at the shelf of alcohol in a way that I probably would have described as blankly if I could have actually seen his eyes. I was going to say, he doesn't have expressions. Except he does, actually. Hey, what's up? You want a drink? Oh, no. Well, I would enjoy a drink, but this mask... Yeah, he's kind of doomed to die in a way that nobody else is, isn't he? Yeah. Everyone else is like, oh, I guess we're going to get locked in here. That's okay. There's a giant pantry of mega food. And then his, the button K would just slowly die inside of his suit. He can't even use the restroom. Maybe he can. Oh. The suit might have like a... You think a, the suit has him like capped? Yeah, it might have like uh, a space suit thing. Uh. Right. Sorry, that sucks. Uh, wait, you can still drink. You know that, right? You can like splash water on yourself and it'll get through. It has to have air holes somewhere. <laughs> like drown him itself? In yeah. order to Jesus. Just pour scotch until you drown him. I mean, it doesn't it. have to have air holes. There could be, uh... Oxygen tank? Yeah. You're already adding, like, a catheter bag into the situation. That's the not unreasonable. Not that crazy. <laughs> like, but an oxygen tank, totally crazy. It has a limited time. I mean, him taking his armors off is going to be really awkward if he's naked inside there and cathed. Depressurized. <laughs> he's got to do a bunch of really awkward shit. Honestly, like, I've gotten so used to the suit, i kind of forgotten you were wearing it. Why the heck did they make you wear that thing anyway? You still don't remember anything? Well, actually... What? I... I did remember... a little. What? His identity better be some kind of character that some other character in this game will recognize. He better if, be seven. If he's if he's only in a suit because we would recognize him, then that's infuriating because it makes no sense in universe. Yeah. So which... it has to be he has to be somebody that somebody else in this game would recognize. But Otherwise, since you... the suit serves no purpose. But since you said that, Keith, that must be what it is because not this game is only known to doing things that would inhibit the player from enjoying the experience, not the. I'm characters. just guessing that it's someone who Clover knows, which makes me think Junpei. It makes me think it's seven. You think it's gonna be no, seven? no, it's her brother. He's big enough to be seven, but he doesn't sound like seven. He could almost be. He could almost be. Uh, what if snake? He, but snake's blind. What if he's ace? That'd be infuriating. <laughs> really? Uh? Yes. Uh? What did you remember? My father. When? When, Dad? You remember that? Did it just pop out of nowhere? Are there supposed to be two dad puns? Yes. Sigma, fuck off. It's not the time. Please, don't joke. This is serious. Yeah, the music stopped. <laughs> Sorry. So you remembered who your father was? Yes. What about your mom? I don't seem to have one. So you got two dads, got it. <laughs> Ace and seven. OTP. <laughs> oh, God. I Oh, 
So your dad raised you. You're more of a jizz on jizz baby. <laughs> what does that even mean? Just, just rub two males together until they made a third one. <laughs> I'm imagining now there's like a pile of like semen uh, in a corner that they kept jerking off into and it eventually just uh, turned into a person. Daddy. Like we just spray. We, that's why we don't want to spray K with aluminol because if we spray him, he's just all white. He's, he's just nothing. He's gloriously incandescent. Yeah. He's literally just made of semen. Oh my God. But aren't we all? He's special, K. <laughs> K stopped for a moment then calmly folded his hands in front of him. I was <laughs> okay, you fuck you. Worked. That's not how this works. <laughs> Kay did not. He's Kay a did not. Armored baby. Kay did not remember himself as Look a baby. Look at the baby at armor. armor man. What the fuck? This is not how Kay remembers himself. <laughs> what if? Well, if he's a robot and his dad is his programmer. Oh god. But he would still wouldn't be a baby robot. He'd just be a younger robot that has the same appearance. No, he would just be a robot with the same body. Yeah, he would just be younger, as in like literally timely younger. Yeah. But that's it. He was the only person who worked there, which meant he was the only person I saw until I was older. That had been the situation for as long as I could remember, though, so I never thought it odd. He's even holding a rabbit. Yep. Is that not a high indicator that this is zero? <laughs> there's, uh, there's hints, although... Zero, Zero's a master programmer. Literally programmed himself into a robot. And then gave it amnesia so it didn't know it was zero. But, Zero Jr. knows that Zero's in there because... Like, why wouldn't Zero Jr. know that? But why is he wearing armor? He's not. Is it just a robot? He's just a well, robot. Why is the lock unlock? And why does he have blood inside his armor? Because I bet you when you unlock him, it's, it's just, just a it's just a blood pack. It's just robots. It's like when you open like a uh, mail uh, I mean, when you open cash from the bank from stealing and like the ink the ink pod explodes on explodes on you. He's just got like a, a fake squib inside of his body. <laughs> when you try to kill him, it just it gives you a pretend death blood. Oh boy. Wait, do I have to read this? I think you have to read this, yeah. He wouldn't allow me to go near him while he was working. Except you have to do it as K. <laughs> <laughs> but the only times he wasn't working were the times when he was sleeping. As such, the only communication I had w was with the education software he'd given me. <laughs> which was my brain. <laughs> yeah, which is why he's a robot. I suppose I was a fairly expression expressionless child then. Develop language to communicate with others and with no one else to communicate with. I suppose it makes sense. Once I learned to read and write, I began to realize my situation was not normal. Many of my books mentioned a mother as part of a family, and in several the mother, father, and children would eat meals together and talk to one another. <laughs> Soon I found myself longing for a mother of my own. Which is why he created Zero or Zero Junior. To be his mother? Yeah. Alarming. Someone who would always be with me, and who would scold me if I did something wrong. At night they would read to me before bedtime. If only I had a mother like that, I thought I would be so happy. So, for the first time in my life, I asked my father for something. He had finished working and, as usual, was making his way toward the bedroom when I stopped him and asked for a mother. <clears throat> he looked at me silently for a long moment before finally responding, Okay. I remember to this day how happy I was at that moment. A few months later, he called me into his laboratory. It was the first time he'd ever done anything like that. You alright? Yeah. <laughs> you like you're struggling. It, it's hard. <laughs> My heart was beating quickly as I stepped inside. Standing next to him was a young woman, and my hopes soared. But when he said her name, or rather, her ID number. They were dashed. 
Oh, <laughs> sad, sad little... Robot. Wow, what happened to his oh, toy? Somebody's abusive to rabbits. He had given me a robot to play the part of a mother. I didn't want a mother that was just a machine who did what a human told her. Well, that's kind of like what real mothers are like in kind of current Japan. So, like, <laughs> we get what you want. You know, you can't really argue when feminism doesn't exist in weird laboratories where I don't, I guess, baby robots are made. What are you? <laughs> <laughs> like, what is this creature who wears a robe but also has, like, Nike Jordans that are way too big for him? He has cross belts under his robe, which is just the most bizarre visual. He's into BDSM, but doesn't want people to know. But he, but but also kind of wants people to know. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> he wants to give enough, like it's yeah, he wants enough people to know that are into the thing to go like, oh, I see what's going on. But he doesn't want the average person to know. He's like He Man became a monk. Yeah, He Man could just put on a robe and look like a monk. Yeah, oh, well, he looked like that except for the robot part. Where was I? When I told my father that, he looked surprised for the first time in his life. Then he frowned, coughed, and admonished me for being a whiner. <laughs> okay. What's that? Child wants, uh, want, child wants my mother? Don't be a bitch. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, oh, alright, this is, uh... Then, this chapter of Zero Escape is about the concept of toxic masculinity. <laughs> Brought to you by... Robots. <laughs> He never scolded me for anything before. At first I was surprised, then angry. Hot tears steamed down my face. Wait, you can cry so you're not a robot? My father ordered the robot to take care of me and shoot us out of his lab. The robot was very convincing and she smiled and spoke as if she was a real person. But I refused to answer her and locked myself in my room. <clears throat> You can talk to a robot and it will respond. But in the end, you're still talking to a machine, not a person. Oh, is this the Chinese room? Oh my god. If that was what I wa I'd wanted, I'd still have the education software my father had given to me. When I ignored the robot as it tried to take care of me, it looked sad. It couldn't really be sad, of course. It was only programmed to look that way. A robot's facade of sadness didn't mean anything to me. A robot. <laughs> I feel like him giving a whole speech about how robots can't have feelings is definitely going to culminate in him being a robot. Yeah. But unaware of it. After that, I stopped expecting <gasps> anything from my father. Like Soma. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> we never really spoken to begin with, so it was easy enough for me to make sure we never saw one another. I lived my life as if he didn't even exist. That seems hard, because he has to literally make you alive all the time. <laughs> no, the mom does. Oh, right. Yeah, I guess so. But also, he's also ignoring her. <laughs> it's more impressive that you got kidnapped while living with your father. Or did you move out? I assume he's older now. I'm... maybe. Perhaps it seems strange to you that I continue to live with him. But I never considered leaving. Why would it seem strange? In the story, you're supposed to be a child. No, I think he's saying, like, ever. I think he's saying he just stayed with him. But, like, the whole context of the story is is him being a child? Not anymore. That... No, he never said that, did he? Well, he's never been a child. He's a robot. Yeah, but I mean, like, he was introduced as being a child, so there's no reason to think that's weird that he lived with his father, because you kind of have to. He could have just ran away from home. Called Child Protective Services. You can't call Child Protective Services. Help me, man. I'm a robot. <laughs> I mean, the dude built a mother robot. I'm sure he has guns outside of his door to prevent CPS from showing up. I don't up. think that's how anything works. What? If I could build robots, I would just put guns everywhere. <laughs> like, no one's going to come in and bother me if there's guns everywhere. <laughs> that's... America? <laughs> Question mark? It's not America. I'm not using them to attack people unless they come to attack me personally. Self-defense. That's not... Okay. Home automation. That's, none of that makes any sense. Perhaps in the hidden depths of my heart... <clears throat> <laughs> We're gonna break you. I longed for a relationship with my father. 
My voice box longs for release. It does, actually. Everything changed when the Fire Nation attacked. <laughs> <laughs> You're the one that keeps picking the worst voices for yourself to have to deal with. Look, man. It's like, I, I was born to suffer. <laughs> <laughs> it's true. You literally was like, you were like, oh shit, this is the worst voice I could have given Sigma. It's going to be pain for the entire playthrough. I know. I'll give, I'll give K the robot voice. <laughs> That'll fix it. God damn it, look. Alright. <laughs> I've just been doing a lot of voices today, my throat kind of hurts. <laughs> Keep going. I left my room one morning to find a woman standing outside of it. She was the first human I'd ever seen, apart from my father, and I was understandably surprised. For a moment, I thought my father had created a new robot, but when I told her that, she laughed and explained that she had come to help him. This sounds like child abuse. Uh, it's like, not really abuse if the kid super doesn't crazy want to be a part development of the family. Abuse. No, the fact that she, he literally... No, he's never seen another person in his life. That's fine. No. You don't need other people. It's super not okay. <laughs> As it turned out, she was a very mysterious person. She was much older than I was, but something about the way she behaved was almost girlish. <clears throat> she wouldn't tell me- she would tell me stories about the world outside in such a way that I was never sure if she was telling the truth or making up fantastic lies. Ultimately though, the truth didn't matter. I loved her stories. She wasn't helping my father directly with his research, so I spent my days with her. Before long, I discovered she'd known my father, my father when he was young. She told me stories of how he'd fallen in love as a younger man, and I began to imagine that the person he'd fallen in love with had been her, and that she was, in fact, secretly my mother. Oh, almost can't swallow. After she settled in with us, our long-established routine began to change drastically. First, we... Are you okay? First, I want to point out that this is actually the room in the bar. Yeah, this room is in this house. This is like his house. Been, we've been, yeah, this is his father's laboratory. That, that's, that's his father is zero. That's the room that has lion written on it. The room the we're currently standing in. Uh, yeah, that's the room we're currently in that has the globe and everything. Yeah. This is it also has that table. Yeah. Uh. Well, yes, that's where the globe is. Yeah. 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 His father is... Zero. He is zero, junior, junior. No, he is... Oh my god! He is... He is zero... He is zero, junior. And the rabbit is technically... Just a robot. <laughs> That's not zero. Zero is a person. It's always a person. It's not a robot. <clears throat> okay. I they came up this. with the worst possible naming scheme for these characters. Yes. We can call the rabbit anything. What should we call him? We'll call him Zero Junior, even though we know somebody else is Zero, and they're gonna just call him Zero Junior and Senior instead of like I don't know Zero and like Omega or something. <laughs> like you can pick any dumb name yeah. you want, and they're like, no, we'll make it the worst name. First, we start to do eat together. Before then, I had never shared a meal with anyone in 18 years. She scolded me for my table manners, or more accurately, the lack thereof. If I was going to eat with others, she said, I would need to be more polite. Having eaten alone for my entire life, manners had never been something I'd even thought about. <clears throat> my father got in trouble, too, when he made the mistake of reading through research papers during dinner. The look of surprise and embarrassment on his face made me burst into laughter. I couldn't remember the last time I shared a laugh with my father. It might have been the first time. The room we considered our living room changed too. Before it had just been another room, but she made it comfortable. 
After we finished our dinner, I would sit on the sofa and relax with her and my father. <clears throat> Those times were the ones I cherished the most. For a little while every day, I got the family I'd longed for ever since I was a child. After her suggestion, I started to help with my father's research. He specialized in genetic engineering, and I discovered an interest. I had an interest in it as well. Time faded away as I lost myself in research. Now that we were working and studying together, my father and I had a great deal to talk about. Okay. Are you okay? Hold on. <laughs> <laughs> I need to catch my breath. You did not realize the mistake you were making like a month ago that was going to have echoing consequences. I had no idea that this... He was going to have the longest story in the game. <laughs> it's going to be the guy you get the robot voice to. Oh, if, he, if the plot twist is that he's a robot, it's gonna be really funny because our first reaction was your first reaction was to literally give him a robot voice, like as a joke, <laughs> and then it turns out to just be accurate. I just, Are you okay? I'm like super lightheaded. Uh, for those of you who don't know, in order to make <laughs> don't that you voice, inhale to make that voice. Yeah, in order to make that <laughs> voice, I have to basically inhale and exhale all of my like air in my lungs in order to make that weird robotic sound. And when you do it, when, like, and I don't know if you noticed this, but I've been doing it for like the past like ten minutes. So like, my brain is a little Endurance lacking. Time. Yeah. We're gonna finish the story, and I'm just gonna pass out on the keyboard. Oh my god, I really. It's okay, Andrew. We can take a smoke break after this. That'll help your breathing. <laughs> I cannot think. Okay. I'm not going to do that voice anymore. I, I think if I continue doing it, I will legitimately pass out. Just do like a more glados but uh, male voice. I, I have to just read my break. I can't do any other voices right now. <laughs> Where I do need, we leave off? I need to catch my breath. Now that we are working and studying together, my father and I had a great deal to talk about. For the first time in my life, we began to speak with one another like a father and son. At least Duque's voice. What? I don't know what Kay's voice sounds like. Uh, we began to speak with one another like a father what? and Wait, son. That's Obama. <laughs> <laughs> we killed Osama bin Laden, and he is no longer going to cause no free games in Afghanistan. You're welcome. <laughs> You're welcome, Middle East. <laughs> like, whenever I impressed him with something I'd learned, I felt a surge of happiness, and it drove me to study even harder. My days felt full. Right and meaningful, but most importantly, I was happy. Is the, who is that? <laughs> we need to identify these pictures. <laughs> wait, wait, wait! That's dead. That's dead lady. Oh shit! That's dead lady. That's not. Not only is that dead lady, is that snake? I mean, sorry. Uh, uh, wait. It was a snake. Is a snake blind person? Dude, that's like fucking Dio's dad. Dio's dad? He's wearing the same jacket Dio is. Well, he, he looks like Snake. Is it West Snake, right? Yeah. Blind guy? Yeah. I think it, it's... It can't be Snake. But that's the murdered lady. Right? It is, yeah. Yeah. Four years passed in the blink of an eye, until one day, I happened to overhear my father and the woman speaking in the laboratory. Their tone was serious, so I listened closer, curious to know what they were talking about. That was when I heard her say that she planned to give her life to achieve their goals. It was clear that she wasn't being metaphorical. And then she died on, in this game. <laughs> Ta-da! Backstory. She would have to die. I was in shock. The research I had thrown myself into would lead to her death? I asked my father to stop his research immediately. He refused to listen. She agreed with him. She told me that she had been prepared for what she had to do since the day she came to our facility. My father had known about it from the beginning as well. Angry and disappointed, I began to investigate what exactly the research I'd been helping with was working toward. What? How? <laughs> How have you been researching you without re knowing what the topic of the research is? <laughs> that isn't how research works. Uh, just do a blindfold, like pin the down the donkey, like, uh, this topic. And then there's no context for why they're doing it or what they're researching. Perhaps, I thought, I could figure out a way to keep her alive. 
I discovered much more than I'd bargained for. To begin with, I learned that the ultimate success of my father's research would require a good deal of sacrifice. We're going to have to combine a dog and a small girl. <laughs> and what? Oh God. <laughs> and what? <laughs> Do, doing the robot voice. Edward Play. <laughs> oh no! Oh no! <laughs> you can hire me, Funimation. I'm here any day. <laughs> and I also learned that my own existence was just another part of his project. I had been created to function as my father's spare. <laughs> oh fuck. If he died during his research, I was intended to continue in his place. I was stunned. I was furious with my father, and with her, and even... Oh, and with her, and even with the research I'd poured myself into for four years. There was only one thing to do. Destroy the facility, and end my father's horrible research once and for all. I made plans to destroy the main reactor, and with it the entire facility. But she saw right through me, because I'm a transparent robot man. <laughs> My father was livid, and locked me in my room until his research was complete. All I could think of was how I might stop him. She did her best to convince me that I'd misunderstood, that everything would be fine. As much as I wanted to believe her, I remembered her in the back of my mind that she had been the one who pushed me to become involved in my father's research. Had that been an earnest desire to give me something to do with my life, or... Still, I couldn't bring myself to hate her. She had given me a reason to live. Even if she had cons conspired with my father to mold me into his replacement, the warmth she'd shown me had been real. She'd made me feel as if I had a real family, and that was something I wouldn't have given up for for the world. I pleaded with her to leave, but she quietly shook her head. There was someone very special... Uh, special to her, she told me. He saved her life once, and she felt her death would help to repay that favor. Oh my god, is it June? <laughs> no. <laughs> no, god no. <laughs> Fuck. She would, she would have liked nothing more than to marry him and live a happy, normal life together, but she couldn't. For his sake, she said, for the sake of the future she wanted. She was determined to see my father's research succeed. I realized that although she was the most important person in my life, there was someone more important than uh, than me and hers. I, had to remember, I forgot that this is only one year after the previous game. Yes. So it's like there's literally no time skill for June to be an old woman. She tried to explain that that beyond what we could see was a future where no one would have to die, but I refused to listen. What good was a potential sp a future to me? It was what I had now that I wanted. I couldn't stand to think that she would give her more she would give her life for a man I'd never even seen. So I shut myself off from the world. Perhaps that is why I lost my memory. What? No, you didn't what? you didn't lose your memory. That's not how amnesia works. Yeah, what the fuck? Like, I give up. Oh no, my memory's gone. <laughs> 